Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Zombiester back at again with the White Vans, uh, I mean, video. Today, we're gonna be talking about three survivor perks that my friend Roka and I came up with. These perks are definitely not perfect, so if you have any feedback, let us know in the comments, and also share perks with us that you come up with if you have any. If you guys want me to do the same kind of video, but for killer perks, then you guys are gonna have to prove it to me. If we hit 95 million likes in 24 hours, you'll be getting that Fuego video next week. Now, let's get into it. The first perk on this list is called Vigorous Vault. After three safe hook rescues, Vigorous Vault activates. While this perk is active when the survivor is in the injured state, they cannot be grabbed when vaulting windows or pallets. Also, if they are vaulting a window slash pallet and get hit into the dying state, they will be put into the deep wound status effect instead. Players will have 10, 15, 20 seconds to mend themselves. I feel like the three safe hooks is what balances out this perk because like Metal Man, perks that grant you free hits should be limited to about once per game. This perk would also encourage survivors to go for more safe hook rescues as well which is a lot more reliable than Metal Man. Some concerns I have about this perk though, is if someone runs this perk alongside Metal Man. However, the chances of activating both of these during a single chase is pretty unlikely. I feel like having another perk reward for a free hit in specific circumstances for rescuing survivors would encourage more survivors to rescue their teammates more often. The second perk on our list is gonna be called a Bunny in the Hat. After working on a generator for more than 40, 35, 30 seconds, Bunny in the Hat activates. Once it activates, survivors have five, seven, nine seconds to jump in any random locker. If they stay in that locker for five seconds, they will be teleported to a random locker anywhere on the map and their location will be revealed to the killer for three seconds once they leave the locker they teleport to. I feel like this perk can be used to fake out killers and have an alternate escape plan when they are pinned down. However, I feel that if their location isn't shown to the killer, then this perk would be pretty broken. But having the location reveal gives the killer an idea of where the survivor teleported to. This perk can also be fun to use since you never know which locker you teleport to meaning you'll sometimes teleport to a locker right next to the one you teleported from. The third perk on this list is what I like to call Fake Out. When you start running, you leave no scratch marks for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, the direction you are facing will create a scratch mark path of 20 meters. This perk can only be triggered every 80, 70, and 60 seconds. This perk is similar to Dance With You in some ways. It allows you to not only hide your scratch marks after you start running, but also create a path of fake scratch marks and trick the killer into thinking that you ran off into that direction. I don't think this perk is too broken since good killers can catch on pretty quickly, but if using the right hands, it can be insanely effective at deceiving killers. Let me know what you guys think about these perks and how you would try to balance them even further. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.